for another vlogmas video i am so excited to share with you today's video we are going to be making one of my tried and true easy 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 kid recipes um, that kids can help with that I have made pretty much every year at Christmas for quite a while now where if I don't make it people are asking hey even my husband's co-workers oh is your wife gonna make that again so I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys in this video I am also gonna quickly just show you guys the decor around my house I didn't do a um, Christmas home decor tour for vlogmas because I feel like there's nothing special to see here and I don't say that like I don't love my house and I don't love my decor because I do. I love how I have it decorated and how it's very cozy. But um, it's not like I'm an interior designer and I went and bought like thousands of dollars of new decor. Um, I really just get like one or two new things each year and then I add on to my collection. Um, so I just really didn't feel like my Christmas decor was tour worthy, but a lot of you guys have asked to see it, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, so I'll show you guys around the house, um, and then we're gonna make the um, the recipe and um, hopefully give you guys an, an easy idea of something you can make to give to neighbors, coworkers. Um, you can put it in like a basket if you're doing like a gift basket. So there's a lot um, that you can do with it and people love it. Like year after year, people love it. So that's what this video is gonna be. But before we get too far into it today, I want to thank Drop for sponsoring today's video. If you guys do not know about Drop, you are missing out. You guys know that I love finding ways to save money or stretch my dollar farther and that's what Drop is. So Drop is a free app that you can download. I will have the links down in my description box for you to download the Drop app. You download the Drop app and then you link a debit or a credit card to the app and then you shop through the app. So let's say you're gonna go online shopping at Walmart, you're going to go to drop, find Walmart, and then just shop like you normally would, and you're going to earn points for every dollar you spend that are redeemable for gift cards. Now, it sounds too good to be true, but it's not. It's 100% legit and tried and true. Some of the places that you can get gift cards to and redeem your points are Starbucks, Amazon, Sephora. Those are some of my top favorite places that I will be redeeming my points, but um, it's so easy. So I will have the link down in the description box for you guys. It's a no brainer to use an app like Drop when you're already gonna be shopping for the holidays because why not earn additional points that you can use for extra gifts or you can treat yourself to something. So it's like when you're gonna be doing holiday shopping, you might as well add a little incentive to it anyways and that is what the Drop app does. So I will have a link down in my description box for you guys to download the Drop app. It's very important that you use my link down in the description box because Drop is going to be giving away five, a range of $5 to $25 gift cards to you guys. So they're gonna be giving away 50 gift cards ranging in value from five to $25, but you have to use the link and you have to link a debit or a credit card to be able to win um, the free gift card. So really, it's so easy. Just find the Drop app, download it onto your phone, link a card, and then you're good to go. Make sure you use my links though so that you guys can be entered to win those gift cards because we can all use a little bit of extra when we're shopping for the holiday season. So thank you so much, Drop, for sponsoring today's video and partnering with me on helping people stretch their dollar a little bit farther. Okay, so the first thing is I did not clean my house. That's number one. Number two, it's the middle of the day. I did not wait for prime lighting. Number three, it's kind of cloudy and I don't have my ring light. So this is going to be a my very unprofessional home decor video for you guys. Just because so many of you have asked, I already told you why I didn't really do a tour to begin with. Um, so this is when you walk in the entrance of my house. 
I have my um, entryway table here um, that I got at Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. I just put three uh, little Christmas trees. I got this one last year as a gift, and it's really, really beautiful at night. It reflects all over the wall like that, which you can see um, better. I just put down this um, table runner. I got that at Target long ago. Um, and then I just have the uh, Ray Dunn candle here and my usual stuff there. Um, down below, I have my Jim Shore collection. And as you can see, like if I was a professional decorator, I would hide those cords, but I'm not and I don't care. So, <laughs> um, here is my Jim Shore collection. My mother-in-law is the sweetest and started collecting this for me and giving it to me each year for Christmas. So I know she's gonna um, get another piece for this, but I like to display like my collectibles all together and these are like sentimental to me because I don't collect um, many, many other things. Um, so I just have like these burlap trees that are old from Target and then I just made like a little bead garland just because I had it and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. Um, so then right here, right next to that, is our beautiful Christmas tree. Now I just got this tree this year and I've linked it and I shared about it in my decorating tree video. Um, but I love this tree and this tree collar down here is from home goods last year, but I'm sure you can find it. So this is where the tree is. Um, it's kind of in between like the entryway, which we have huge ceilings. I wish there was more space to put like a giant Christmas tree, but here we just have like nine and a half feet. So this tree is seven and a half. And this is our first Christmas in our new house. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that. And so, you know, I had to try to figure out where to put things, but I put the tree here this year. Next year, I think I might put the tree over there. There was recently a chair in like a little sitting area here that I moved because I ordered the extra piece to our couch to make our couch bigger, um, which is actually be being delivered here in like 30 minutes. Um, so I'll show you guys that later, but yeah, so I think I might put the tree over there next year. We'll see, but for now, it's here and I like it. Um, so then over here, a lot of you guys wanted me to show this. These are those little um, like barn style houses that I got from the Target Dollar Spot for fall. And one of you guys gave me the idea of leaving them out for Christmas and putting like the bottle brush Christmas trees around it. So that's what I did there. And I love how it looks. Um, down in the center, that is from Cracker Barrel a long time ago. That is from Rodworks a long time ago. That little snowball thing was a gift from someone. So I just filled in like the little pieces there. Um, over here is my new obsession, Christmas gnomes. I have another one that I got at Bronner's in Michigan. That is very, very special to me um, because my grandma got it for me and I just don't have many sentimental things. So that one was very special to me. But while we were away in Disneyland, my dog got up there and ripped it. So it's currently trying to be repaired because I about cried. Um, so anyway, there was another one there, but I have my little gnomes there. Um, then over here, we're starting to put some of the gifts for like um, things we need to give gifts for like our homeschool group swap and just anything we're gonna need because with the tree being kind of in our entryway, I can't have gifts like everywhere yet, which is why there's just a few under there. Um, over here on this little table, I just did my Bath and Body Works candle, this old Santa that I've had for a long time, and then this uh, gingerbread house that I've also had for a long time. Um, on the couch, I did get a few new pillows. This one is a Ray Dunn pillow. I got it at Home Goods. Um, this one I got at Hobby Lobby. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And like I said, we're getting an extra piece to our couch, so my couch is all like messed up because I was moving it. Um, that red one is from Home Goods this year. Up on these shelves, I have maybe three or four possessions from my childhood, but these wooden Santas are one of them. So um, 
I am very thankful to have a little piece of something that I did have growing up because like I said, I don't have any of my yearbooks. I don't have any of my childhood medals or anything like that. So anyway, these are important to me and I have um, Mrs. Claus right up there. So those are sitting on my little floating shelves. Then over here on the table, I just have the book we've been reading for Advent and then I also have those books from the Target dollar spot that I showed you guys on the tray. I got these little boots um, last year, like after Christmas, I think they were like 10 cents and I just put our remotes for the TV um, in there in that. So that is what I have on my coffee table. Um, a lot of you guys, uh, after the stocking video, were like, oh, I wanna see your childhood stocking. So here she is. Um, so this year, this is something that I did do. I got my husband a matching stocking with the kids, um, and I got my son a different stocking. I had the two green ones, and then mine is red and green. So I wanted it to match. This is the, the um, those lights look like they're flickering, but they're actually not. That's really weird. Um, I, anyway, I wanted the stockings to all match and see if I was a professional YouTube home tour decor person, I would not be charging my vacuums, but I'm charging my vacuums. Um, I got these stockings at Target, so um, that's there. And then I have my garland that looks like it's flickering, but it's not. That is so weird, you guys. Um, anyways, this is my childhood stocking. My grandma knit that stocking for me. I had it my whole childhood and I'm so thankful that I still have that. Um, and then I, this was a new thing. Whoops, this was a new thing that I got this year. This like blue, or blue, white pom-pom um, garland. So it's just going over the stairs with the stockings. And at night, this looks really beautiful. Now you might be thinking, wow, Ashley, I can't believe you only put garland on one side of your stairs. Well, the reason is because this side stops right there and there's no outlet on this side of the wall. So that was one of those things that I needed to like figure out new house first Christmas here. So after Christmas, I'm going to look for, um, some garland that is not lit and then I will use um, I'll, I'll just put it on this side and then this side will be lit but this side won't just so it looks balanced but I didn't get around to it this year and if I was professional I would have but I didn't um, and then there's the basset sleeping on the stairs she's always <laughs> in all of the videos because she thinks you guys want to see her say hi to Dorothy Look at her tail. She knows she's cute. Um, so anyways, on this side, I have my Merry Christmas banner and a little snowman guy that I've had for a while hiding on the stairs. And then down here on this little bench, I just put a um, pillow. So that's kind of what the stairs look like. This lit, uh, lit garland I have going all the way up, but that is truly bizarre that it looks flickering and it's not flickering. Um, over here, I just hung this little sleigh. I got this in the Target dollar spot quite a while ago. Um, and then I put in like a little Christmas foliage there. Um, on my table, I kept it so simple because I move this on and off one million times per day. Um, this table runner I got at Bronner's in Michigan. And then these are two trees you guys saw in the Target dollar spot Christmas haul video. Over here in my kitchen, I just have my Bath and Body Works candle always going. Um, my Mrs. Myers uh, peppermint collection. And then I did do my tray for Christmas. And um, I just found little things like this little sign at Hobby Lobby. And then I did the beaded garland. I did the gnome. And then I filled it in with like Hershey Kisses, the different ones. These ones are my favorite, so yummy. Um, and on the other side of it, there's some different stuff. And see, also, if I was professional, I wouldn't have that water cup there. Um, you guys hear the sarcasm, right? I'm kidding. Um, so anyways, filled that in with Christmas stuff. Over here, I have my Bassett Hound Christmas towels. 
Um, last year, my mother-in-law got me this from Crate and Barrel, so it's like a little snowflake for um, hot dishes, and then this is an actual cookie jar. It's pretty cute. And then over here, I put up this Christmas tree farm sign from Hobby Lobby last year on the barn door. I did a wreath um, that I got at Ikea quite a few years ago. Um, over here, I just added my salt and pepper from the Ray Dunn. Um, uh, thing from Walmart had those a while um, and then over here if I was professional none of these water bottles would be here um, but I did Merry Christmas and then I filled a little mason jar and then I have um, just a coffee cup here a Christmas one with candy canes some hot cocoa back there and then um, this sign be merry and stay that way I've had that for a while um, on my rack for my cups, I just added these two little Christmas signs. And then on, let me close these so you guys can see here. Um, I told you these little Christmas gnomes were kind of my new thing. So I just strung the garland across um, the window there in the kitchen. Um, so that is what my downstairs is looking like for Christmas. It's not overwhelming. It's very simple. It's very, very me and just clean the way I like it. So that's it down here. I don't really decorate the upstairs of my house. Um, my kids each have a little tree in their room that they put all of their ornaments on. Oh, over here I have my Christmas card thing and then my kids love doing these gel window cleans um i have outside decor of course but i'm not going to show that um this i got a really long time ago so that's there and then um the downstairs bathroom is my daughter my oldest daughter's bathroom but i do decorate down here because when we have guests they use it so i just have like the a candle and then a little tree on a cake stand i got that at target quite a while ago and then I did decorate these shelves. I get asked about these a lot. These are from Hobby Lobby. And um, I put the two little birdies up there. And then over here, I just threw some Christmas towels on that I got at Home Goods. And then I swapped out like our usual mats for just some white ones. And then I did a little plaid Mary towel there. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Like I was saying, I don't really decorate the upstairs of my house. Um, my kids have Christmas trees in their rooms, but I'm not gonna go in their rooms and show them. And then um, in my master bedroom, I just put a few throw pillows on my bed and call it a day. So that's it guys for my Christmas home decor tour. Um, I'm not making fun of Okay, people. so this is everything you're going to need to make the white chocolate peppermint popcorn. It is like a candy bark type popcorn, um, but it is so good. I have made it other ways using like crumbled up Oreos, but peppermint is everyone's favorite. So it's very, very easy to do um, and the kids love helping and like I said, it is a crowd pleaser and it's something a little different than cookies which I feel like everyone gets a lot of at Christmas time. So um, you're gonna need your white um, chocolate baking chips. Stick with white chocolate. Um, we've tried um, the uh, regular cho milk chocolate, I guess. It's not as good. Um, you're gonna need parchment paper. I only have this non-stick foil, so that will do. You're gonna need a ton of candy canes. Um, you're going to need white popcorn. You can air pop your own, or you can um, you know, buy the microwavable kind. And then I like to use these Christmas Glad um, Tupperwares. So that's how we like to give it out. But if you wanted to do mason jars or something else, you could also do that. Then you're gonna need all of your cookie sheets out because you need to line them with the parchment paper so that um, you can lay out the popcorn and then drizzle the chocolate and let it harden. It has to harden before you break it apart and put it into your containers. So that is everything that you need. And then you need a few helpers who are ready to make peppermint popcorn. How good is it? Good. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, a 10. 
a 10. People love it. So um, that's what we're gonna be making today. Like I said, we're gonna give one to each of our neighbors. We're gonna send some with my husband to his, um, for his squad, in addition to other gifts that we got them. And then we're gonna make some for us and we're gonna make some to give to the grandparents. So we're gonna make a ton. So just it just depends on how much you wanna make, but we're gonna make a lot of it. And this is one way that you can earn points on the Drop app Walmart. So um, anyways, we're gonna get started, but I wanted to show you everything you're gonna need and then um, we'll show you guys how we do it. So step number one is Open the candy canes, they can be broken, and put them inside a plastic bag to be broken, crushed, and shattered. Um, if you have a food processor, it would probably work, but I've never done it that way because they enjoy breaking <laughs> the candy canes. How do we break them? We smash them with a hammer. <laughs> so, you might need a hammer too, or you can use a rolling pin, but yeah. That's what we do, because you want to get the candy canes very, very fine, almost like a powder. So you, you peel them off and you make sure there's no plastic in there so that no one's eating plastic with their popcorn. Brief intermission. Eating on the job. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, or have your kids help you do, is the candy cane pieces that you've broken. Now, if you wanted to do any other kind of topping, like if you were gonna do the Oreo, like I mentioned, or I mean, you could even do different, um, different little toppings, but you put it in a Ziploc bag, but you do have to hammer it um, till it's pretty fine and very small, which usually does put holes in the Ziploc bags. Make sure the air is out, otherwise the bag will just pop. So I like to put them in um, grocery bags so that um, if the dust like comes out, it doesn't go completely everywhere. So then you're just gonna need a hammer or a rolling pin or a food process. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do after you've um, hammered your candy canes is you're going to pour them on the parchment paper, the popcorn on the parchment paper or the um, non-stick foil like I have. But the thing is, is you want it to be pretty flat and level with the pan because if you get it too high, the chocolate is not gonna make it to the bottom. So once you pop all your popcorn, you gotta pour it out. You obviously don't wanna get a lot of kernels in there because um, that will stick to the bark, but a few is okay. Um, so you wanna make sure you pop it pretty well. Here, put the rest on that side. And then you make it flat on your cookie sheets. You want it you want it full because if it's too little, then it's not going to make like the bark. So you want it to be a full flat cookie sheet just like these two. Okay, so the next thing is to spray a um spatula or um yeah, that's what these are called, with non-stick spray. And then you have to heat the chocolate chips on low because otherwise they will burn. It has happened. Um, one of my kids thought that she could speed up the process of melting chocolate and turn it on high and it was charred at the bottom. So you need it on low and you just need to constantly be moving it until they are all melted and it does not take long. You can use white chocolate chips or you can also use like the white melting uh, wafers. So I am going to just stand here and continually move this around um, until it's liquidy and then you will immediately drizzle it like this over the popcorn and have someone ready to add the candy canes right to it so that it sticks and it hardens um, together.
kind of like get a little messy because you want the bottom layer of the popcorn to also get the chocolate and the peppermint on it. So this is where you kind of got to get your hands in there and just kind of mix it up so that it's not just all on the top. Um, and some of it inevitably will fall on the floor. So have dogs nearby that want to help you out with that. And then you just push it down flat on the paper once you feel like you've kind of tossed it all into the chocolate and um, the candy cane and then you push it flat and let it harden for probably a few hours. So um, that's kind of what you wanna do. And then once it's hardened, then you're going to break it into pieces and then fill your containers. So it's gonna make like a popcorn bark almost. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what we're going for here. And like I said, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, don't worry. Oh, I didn't get that corner. It's okay. You can have some uncovered pieces also in there. So that's what you're gonna do for each tray. And then you're gonna push it flat and let it harden. Hey, Caleb. Since the popcorn has sat long enough for the chocolate to harden, um, you can tell, obviously, by just touching it. Um, then you're just gonna fill up your containers and then you have a delicious, easy treat that tastes really good. It's something a little different than cookies and everyone, including your dogs, will be trying to eat it off the counter. So I hope you guys get some good ideas. Let me know if any of you try this in the future or if you already make it. I realize I did not invent this, but everyone always really loves it. So we're gonna let our popcorn harden, then we're gonna fill up our containers over there that Mr. Caleb has so wonderfully lined up for me. So that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of our Christmas decor and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us make a family favorite holiday Christmas treat. Be sure to check out the links to download the Drop app and enter to win by linking your card. Don't forget that important step um, to be one of the 50 winners that they're gonna be choosing at random. So thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas. I've got more coming this week for you. Give me a thumbs up before you go. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on so that you see every time a new video hits my channel. I've got Disney coming up really soon, so I hope you guys are excited to watch those and I will see you in my next video really soon. Bye guys.